Look who's back. Back again. Shady's back. Tell your friends. She never sing. Never let me sing. Why are you letting me sing? Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mini Reads where I talk about books and things. And it's been a while, I know. I imagine that <laughs> three people are gonna watch this video, including probably Lena, Rachel, and um, who else? <laughs> who else is gonna watch this video? Lena, Rachel, and Sarah. There you go. <laughs> so to anybody that is new to my channel, hi, my name is Monica and I like to talk about books, particularly sci science fiction books and I especially like soft science fiction that is not well known on YouTube. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, I also talk about spooky books because all this shelf down here is just spooky books. So please hit the like and the subscribe because I'm back. And I wanted to make a like welcome back to me video because um, for those of you that have been here for a while and are watching, you know that I was going through some stuff at, well, I would say mid 2021 is 2020. I can't believe we're in 2020, but mid 2021 to the end of 2021, I was going through some very serious depression and anxiety issues. I'm not saying that those have been solved, but I am saying that I feel like I am ready to come back to booktube. I really missed it. I missed the community. Um, Rachel has kept me. Um, when I say Rachel, I mean Rachel from the Shades of Orange. I say Rachel like, <laughs> Rachel, you know Rachel, you know? <laughs> but um, um, I miss the community and I have missed reading. I had not touched the book for like five months. That was also one of the reasons that I decided to take a break from book two. But I am back and I want to tell you what you can expect from this channel coming up. Um, sadly, I don't have any specific books to show you. The only book that I know that I'm going to be reading is Cytonic by um, Brandon Sanderson, but you'll see that in a vlog coming up. But this is basically my booktube goals and also my book goals because it's different. My booktube goals from my book goals. So I'm going to divide this video into two. You can check down there for the chapters for whatever you want to see or if you just want to see me ramble, go right ahead. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is basically my book challenges for the, for the, for the year. <laughs> I can't talk. It's so weird talking to my camera right now. But anyway, the book challenges for the year. My book challenges for the year are really simple. I have them written down, so I'm going to be looking at my phone. And the first one is to read books that I'm really interested in. One of the like vortexes you can go through, like the whirlpools of horrors that you can go through in booktube is reading books that are popular so that your videos get so that your videos get more views. I don't want to do that anymore. Not that I did before a lot, but I definitely did read um what is it called? The Final Empire just to just because it was so popular. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to force myself to read a book just because it's um, hyped or because it's even by an author that I really like. For example, I tried to read a song for the Wild Build, did not work out for me because even though it was from an author that I really enjoyed, I knew the premise was not for me even though it's soft sci-fi but whatever. It was just not for me. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. If you're very interested in me reading a book, just leave a recommendation in the comments and I will take that into consideration when making my book list for the month, which we will get to in a moment. The other two goals are go hand in hand and that is try to read my physical TBR and try to read my Kindle TBR. This has been an ongoing goal, but since I'm actually not really buying physical books and that's another one of my goals this year is just not to buy physical books unless it's on the special occasions. I think that we can get this done. I think that I can get this done and um, just read the books that I have instead of reading books that I don't have. Although I do do that with Audible and um, Scrib. But the, the, the things that are physically around me, I want to be more minimalist about. Not that you have to be. If you have, if you want to have an entire house full of books, I commend you. But personally for me, I don't have this space and I also realized that I was just buying and buying and not being able to read. And I don't like that. I don't like books sitting there unread. So I think that I'm only, I'm going to both read physical, read my Kindle TBR, <laughs> bring that together. And with that, I will only buy the book once I've already read it, 
in any of those like digital formats and then I feel that it's a book that I want to add to my collection because I am a book collector as much as I am a book reader but mostly I'm a book collector I like having I like being surrounded by a curated version of what I would normal what I would call a book collection if that makes any sense I want to discover more sci-fi books and bring them to you honestly um, I think that this website as a whole is lacking in soft sci-fi and particularly in soft sci-fi because when you look for sci-fi you always find the general recommendations of Dune, the Foundation trilogy, um, I can't think of anything else but Old Man's War, um, Velocity Weapon, you know you find a lot of hard sci-fi but there isn't a lot of space for soft character driven sci-fi I think and those are my favorite types of books so I think that I want to like bring more recommendations like that now where am I gonna find these recommendations I don't know but I'll find them for you and I will bring them to you because I really want people to read sci-fi and I fear that if you go straight into something like Dune or Velocity Weapon that it's not going to be what you really like it's, it's not the place to start so I really want to get people reading sci-fi and I want to do that by bringing you books that are accessible to anyone that hasn't read sci-fi before and that really really excites me also it's like what I like to read so <laughs> it's a win-win another bookish goal that I have is to DNF unapologetically it can be the best book of the year it can be the booktube darling it can be the tiktok no, what is it? Book talk. There we go. Book talk, darling. It can be something that somebody gifted me and that person, I love them. Whatever. I don't care. If I don't like it, I'm DNFing. That's it. I'm not going to push myself to read something, especially if it's for, like, even if I'm doing a secret TBR, which we'll get to in a moment, I'm not, if I don't like the book, I will DNF. Like, that's it. <laughs> DNFing is caring, so... We're just gonna we're just gonna go through with it. We're just gonna DNF books that I don't like. Period. Point. Let's move on. Um, I also want to have I, I also want to finish series that I have open. But the thing is, I don't think I have that many series open. Oh, I have um the Murderbot Diaries and I have uh the Skyward series by Brandon Sanderson. I have those two open. I'm pretty sure I have others, but for example, the Dune series, I'm not gonna finish that series. <sighs> Maybe I am, I don't know. I might, I might finish the Dune series. But if there is a series that I have open that I have the ability to finish because all the books are out, obviously I can't force writers to write certain series. I'm looking at you, Patrick Rothfuss. Um, I'm gonna finish it or at least get to the final book that has been published. You get me? You get me. Okay, good. I'm also not going to force myself to read a certain amount of books just to reach a goal. I didn't reach my goal last year of re reading 52 books. I was two books shy and that is okay. I still read 50 books. And if next year, I mean this year, sorry. And if this year I read 10 books and those 10 books are the books that you're going to hear about over and over and over again on my channel, that's what's going to happen. I think that I'm still on the mend of about <laughs> I'm, I why can't I talk? I feel that I'm still on the mend when it comes to my um um psychological status, I guess. And I don't want to force myself. I don't want to feel like a failure because that's a big thing for me. I don't want to feel like I failed at something just because I didn't read an unreasonable amount of books and if you think 50 books is unreasonable for somebody that works as much as I do I don't know what to tell you baby but it, it is um, if I read 50 books yay if I read 100 books yay but if I read 10 books also yay you, you know I think we we preach a lot quality over quantity but that's not what we really want we want the quantity and I'm sorry if I cannot bring you quantity because I have a very demanding job and I also struggle with my mental health. And for some people, reading books is a way like to 
better their mental health for me it's not it I, I cannot focus on a book and then it goes into this whole thing of me feeling like a failure so we're not going to force ourselves to read books that we don't not, not that we don't like well that yeah but i'm not going to give myself a goal i'm just going to say i'm going to read and if that means that one month i read 10 books and another month i read no books we're just gonna do it baby that's what we're gonna do and that's pretty much it as far as my book goals go i don't have any one particular book that i want to read this year like i don't have that one book that i want to read because it's coming out i even i don't even know what's coming out honestly so i think that if you're looking for book suggestions this is not the video for that I was tempted to do a video where I look at new excuse me where I look at new releases and I try to see what I would like but to be honest with you that's not something that's calling to me so I'm probably not gonna make that video because again I don't know what is popular and I sometimes don't care so We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, just know that I am reading Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> That's the only one that I'm like 100% reading. Alright, so now as for my booktube channel. I know that I used to make three mid videos a week. And uh, that became unachievable for me. That's just not going to happen. So from now on, starting in January all the way to December, I am committing to making two videos per week. If I can make an extra video for you, I will, but more than likely you're going to get two videos per week. I am going to stick to that. I have promised myself, come hell or high water, unless I'm like in the hospital and cannot make videos, you know, or something like that. I really want to stick to it. I have made myself a nice little schedule for both reading and um, making videos so that way you're not sitting there wondering where I went for two weeks. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be unapologetic about filler videos. I mean, yes, I'm going to do tags. Yes, I'm going to do, you know, um, recommendation videos or I'm going to do reads like this and so and so. You know, those videos that we call filler videos, they're necessary. I cannot come up with <laughs> every concept of it. Like I, I'm not that. I'm not that creative. I have to accept that I'm not that creative. And sometimes I need a little bit of help, and that comes in the form of filler videos, uh, tag videos, and stuff like that. So, if that is not your cup of tea, I'm sorry, but I have a life, and I sometimes I keep a list of ideas and stuff. But eventually, you're gonna come across a filler video, and you know what? They're fun, so sorry, not sorry. I all of, all of this is just like a lot of me just saying sorry, not sorry. Peace out. <laughs> I promise, I do care what you think, but at the same time, I have to take care of myself in the process of making videos and doing all of that. So, um, I already do this, but I actually want to make it a goal: is to recommend books that I genuinely love. I already recommend books that I genuinely love. This is nothing new. This is just kind of a continuation of my channel. Like, I think this is me reminding myself that I don't have to read the most popular thing out there or that I don't have to read like other people in order to be liked. I think if you are here for some reason, it's because you like my strange personality. So I'm just going to continue with that, with the idea that you're here for me and not for what I read which is strange but yeah I hope I hope that that's it you know so I'm just gonna keep recommending books that you know might not be what everybody else is recommending and it's again it's not because I'm special or because I like better books no it's just because those type of things that I read are not the norm on booktube so I'm going to keep recommending those kinds of books to you. And if you're wondering what that is, well, I have a whole recommendation uh, playlist. But it's what I said at the beginning. Usually sci-fi, soft sci-fi. I do like some hard sci-fi and I like um, spooky books. So yeah, sci-fi and spookiness. That's what you get. That's what you get in this channel. Um, I also want to fall back in love with my channel. 
I remember when I started my channel, I was very much in love with it. I loved making content. Not that I don't love making content now. It's just that I fell into the hole of the numbers game. I just wanted to reach a certain number of subscribers. I wanted to reach a certain number of views. Whenever my views weren't up, I was so depressed about it. It was just that led me to take off to take time off booktube and i just want to fall back in love with just sharing my love for books with people that's why i made this channel it wasn't with the idea of becoming i don't know the next books and lala you know i just came on here because i don't have anyone to talk to about books and i found a community and then i kind of left it because it became a numbers game so I want to fall back in love with my channel and I want to do things that I want to do, not that things that will get me views because I suck at that by the way, getting views, <laughs> suck at that game. <laughs> um, I remember there was this video once a long time ago that I said that I hated the idea of making secret TBRs but now I've fallen in love with it where I just vlog a secret TBR, you know, just group books together in like, I don't know certain characteristics and read them and, and, and vlog them for you. I love vlogging. I don't love romanticizing my life while vlogging because my life is n not, you know, it's, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> so um, I love vlogging my reactions. So I'm going to continue to do that and I'm going to continue to make secret TBRs. So I'm probably not going to do a TBR at the beginning of the month just because I think you're gonna get like four vlogs from me like every week reading a secret TBR. And finally, I want to continue my book to movie blind date adaptation project. And if you don't know what that is, that is where I read a book and I watch the movie that, that was based off the book. And I, and I do it in a way where I have never read the book and I have never seen the movie. So like for example, Lord of the Rings couldn't come into that because I've seen the movies I and I, I haven't read the books and I don't want to either but basically I have to have zero knowledge of either medium and those books those, those that that goes in hand in hand with um not getting views because not nobody likes to watch those videos and I love making them so um I'm gonna make them I'm gonna make them and I'm gonna enjoy them and the final, final goal is to remember that I'm human, to give myself the grace to mess up and to forget the numbers. I, I even deleted like the app on your phone where you can see your numbers and stuff. I'm not going to do that anymore because this is about you and me. This is about the connection that we have. And if we have a connection, baby we're doing it that's the point you know and if somebody reads something that i recommend that to me is worth more than 100,000 views honestly okay maybe the 100,000 views would be nice but <laughs> i would still be very happy <laughs> if you read any of my recommendations um and if somebody gets introduced to the sci-fi genre just because i said Hey, read Do You Dream of Terra 2 or read Dune or read any of the books that you see here. You know, I am going to just be over the moon. That was not an intended pun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. It helps my channel out. And, you know just comment something whatever tell me tell me what, what you did for christmas or something you know whatever you want just so that i know that you're there somewhere and that i'm still here <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another galaxy far far away